Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shauna, if you're new here, I do a lot of fashion try on hauls, makeup tutorials and just like girly chats in general, a bit of everything on this channel. Uh, YouTube is definitely something that I'm hoping to grow this year. If you don't follow me already on Instagram, I'd love if you checked out my page. But yes, welcome back to my channel. I am very, very excited about this video. It's actually a really different one, one that I've never done before. It's actually not a try on haul, even though I have a big array of clothes behind me. I'm going to be talking about how to kind of shop your own wardrobe, um, knowing the trends that are going to come in for spring and how to use what you have and like shop your own wardrobe and reuse is recycle, revamp what you have to fit into these new trends because I feel like we all kind of can get carried away with the like every time there's a new month or every time there's a new season to literally throw out everything you have and like buy a load of stuff. So this year I wanted to make a change so my new year's resolution was to buy less but buy better and be as sustainable as I possibly could and uh, to buy better brands to not do as many like new fashion hauls and just to show ye um the things that I'm learning. That message fits in really well with the brand that I'm collaborating with today. It's like researching, seeing what brands had like sustainability and ethical statements on their websites and what brands were making changes. It kind of helped me figure out what brands I was going to be purchasing from, the brands I was going to be working with and the brands that I was going to be showing to you guys. And you're not going to be shocked by this one because it's a brand that I've actually worked with for a long time. Ana Luisa, which is a carbon neutral, sustainable, luxury yet affordable brand and as you know I go for all of the gold pieces. I have so many things from previous collaborations and things that I've bought myself. I kind of overdid it today but I just wanted to be dripping in um, Ana Luisa to show you my collection basically and kind of go through them. But I just thought that by collaborating with them and obviously showing you the amazing stocks that they have in for Valentine's Day. There's 15% off like so so many styles. So definitely do click the link in the description below and get on it because you want them to be here for Valentine's Day either for you or for your gal pal or for your girlfriend. Um, yeah I definitely bought them for myself but these are some of my favourite pieces. I'll leave them all linked below so you know you can find them out for yourself but like they're just absolutely incredible quality and the price is like amazing for them like when I wear them they really do look like they're very expensive pieces and they're not that expensive these are the only gold hoops that I'll ever wear this ring is from them I've been wearing this non-stop lately I've wanted this heart necklace for so long but I never had anyone to buy it for me so I was like I get it for myself and then I bought this one last summer and then this is kind of like the one I have on now but it's a little bit uh, slimmer and then I have the ring and then these little earrings that actually match this ring so they're like little kind of baubles that you put on so they'd probably go with this outfit a little bit better and probably a little bit too over the top but your luck work from home is still gotta get glam but I'm gonna go through what I'm wearing the pieces behind me and also some like accessories and stuff that you might already have that you didn't even realize you can turn into a new funky outfit or else i will leave um some links below if you do want to go on a shopping spree but definitely do think before you shop that's definitely something that i'm going to be doing a lot more this year and urging you guys to do i'm still all for a shopping spree don't get me wrong i love a good shopping spree and i'll still be doing plenty of hauls over here but i'm just not going to shop as much online fast fashion brands um, I still absolutely love pennies and the second it opens I will be going in there but some of these things behind me are definitely things that I've had for a long time I'm definitely after getting into buying second hand now as well so there's some stuff here from Bestiaire Collective and Depop and I'm also going to talk a little bit about how to know when it's an investment buy that's worth your while and when you could kind of hold off and get one for cheaper and it'll do the same job so there's a lot going to be discussed in this video so let's get into it as you can see from my rail here the color story is definitely bright pastels and hyper pastels but i still have a few neutrals i definitely love wearing my neutrals in the winter and i think that neutrals can look very chic and classy but then when we get to spring and summer i still wear some neutrals but i definitely go towards my bright colors but then again we need to remember that we live in ireland i do anyway and outside today even though it's like the 8th of february it's actually snowing outside so we do have to think uh, realistic and practical as well so 
so I'm just gonna run through them and kind of talk about my favorite things to wear in spring and how you can style them up and you probably have things if not like the exact same but you'd have things similar similar prints similar shades and um, like similar colors and then you can kind of figure out what I'm thinking for my spring wardrobe and maybe you could do the same I also have some accessories as well that I'm gonna run through like um, sunglasses shoes and hats I think they're gonna be a really big thing this year I think I'm gonna start from the back and this is definitely one that I think we've all we've definitely every single person watching this video has a shotgun at this stage this one is from Zara it's a really nice uh, quality one actually it's kind of like a heavy wool and then underneath that is this is actually one of my new purchases this one's quite old I have this um about six or seven months now so I'm not sure if it's still in stock but I will link some similar ones below anything that is still in stock I will link the exact product but I'll actually link some similar ones to things that are like more expensive cheaper whatever so then there'll be something there for everyone but underneath this oh my god I'm so excited to wear this I actually bought this last week from a shop here in Cork called Samui and they're like a designer label store so they stock like uh, Zadig and Voltaire, Golden Goose, Anina Bing and loads more brands um, and I spotted this and I was like this is just the most me t-shirt ever it's like girl boss vibes bright colors and a t-shirt I love t-shirts because I find that they're so easy to like dress up or dress down you can wear a t-shirt with like a funky leather jacket skinny jeans and heels on a night out and look like proper hot or you could wear it with like your shacket or with your tracksuit pants so I just thought yes this is something now that I know I'm going to get so much wear out of and another thing to um well something that I definitely think works for me anyway is I always used to be guilty of like spending I don't know like a five or a ten or on a t-shirt and say oh sure it's grand that I only wore it once but when I spend money on like a good quality one even the fact obviously it's better quality so it's going to wash better and wear better and you just feel more comfortable in it and it's just going to be softer and everything but other than that you're going to wear it more anyway because you're going to be like I spend however much on this I'm going to wear it more and that's like I remember when I was doing kind of my research into how to be not even more sustainable because I'll never be sustainable but just with slow fashion brands and uh, kind of buying better I remember seeing this post on Instagram being like when you buy something you should be like proper excited to wear it and like want to care for it and wear it a few times and if you don't have that feeling about something coming in the door that's definitely a good sign to send it back and like not buy that again do you know what I mean because I was definitely very guilty of that being like I'm not really sure if I like this the quality isn't great it doesn't fit me well and then still keeping it and it's never getting worn or else getting worn once so that's what I'm trying to stay away from so I was thinking before I, that that's actually another thing and um, I'll just share all of my tips Um, I'm trying to think now when I buy something I have to be able to name at least five like different outfits I'll wear it and then I'm hoping to wear everything 30 times now I don't know if 30 is a little bit um out there for just getting started but things like coats and stuff I'll wear a hundred times but for t-shirts and stuff maybe I'll start off with like 15 20 but it's definitely a good aim so that is our Zara jacket and the Zadig and Voltaire uh, t-shirt then moving on from that this is a jacket and now this is actually um what's going to open the conversation that I wanted to have with the of when do you know to investment buy and when do you hold out because I bought this jacket it's a rails jacket I'll talk about the coming in a while um, and I got it before Christmas and it was definitely an investment purchase but I've never seen a jacket like this before I loved how it's like not too tailored not too structured it's like kind of waterfall but it's just absolutely perfect it fits me really well it's really comfortable I love the colour I'd never seen like something this kind of a colour it's like a nearly an crew or an oatmeal colour um, and I absolutely just loved it so I was like yeah I'm getting it I will wear this 300 times but if you were someone and you were like not 100% sure about if you really really loved it or not I would say don't do it and I've made that like that's what I'm doing now sometimes I'm like oh but I'm only like trying to buy better now that means I have to spend this much on uh, whatever you actually don't you just need to shop smarter not even shop better so just look around more and research more and like hold out if you're not absolutely mad for something because I've seen this coat come into H&M recently in two different colors one very similar to this and one slightly darker for just like 40 euros so literally like a tenth of this price but but um, again, very similar, good quality, and H&M is a brand that is making changes. So definitely, that's um, a good 
kind of example to give of actually this one is too this one I did the right thing actually with this one is I was in um Burn Thomas before Christmas and I saw this exact jacket in Maj and it was on sale I can't remember what it was reduced to now like 280 or something and I was like oh my god I'm mad but I love it and it's like suede on the inside and fur on the outside and I was with my friend and she was like I swear to god they have the exact same one in Zara the exact same one in Zara so I ended up getting this for 30 so it kind of balanced out that I did the investment one for this one and I held out and did my research and got a cheaper alternative um for this one but it's still definitely a really good quality coat and I'm after getting 50 wears out of this already and I only have it since before Christmas I haven't worn it the way with the suede out but um I've definitely worn it loads like this and it's just super comfy and I will wear and it washes really well and wear it really well and then that is the black Zadig and Voltaire t-shirt underneath that as well just to show you how you could kind of wear it just before I move on I should probably give you a rundown of what I'm wearing so I got this um tie-dye matching tracksuit from this new website called aboutme.ie coolest website ever it's kind of like asos but it has even like better brands on it again and it has loads of different countries so um like there's an irish one there's a german one there's a uk one so no matter where you're from there'll be a site there for you and it's really handy for anyone out in the uk because there's no um extra brexit fees or anything but they have a huge amount of um stock on there they have their own brand stuff which i actually got a pair of boots i'll show them to you so this is the own brand now tell me that these are not identical to Stuart Wiseman boots. The only thing that they don't have is the string at the back and some of the styles did. And again, these were like, I'd say I'm gonna say 50 euro as opposed to much um, Stuart Wiseman's. So, and they're these in loads of different colors. So that was definitely another good purchase that I researched before splurging. And um, they feel really good because I have Stuart Wiseman's in black that I got secondhand on this year and they feel very similar. The only thing is my ones are higher and have a pointy toe, but very, very similar. And that's just that website that I was talking to you about. But that's where this tracksuit is from. I'm gonna pull this down to try show you. Just a matching tie-dye tracksuit from Gap and I've been pulled, like pushed in, tucked in and then with the strings tied so it kind of looks like a jumpsuit. It makes it a little bit more dressy and that's why I have it on with like the sleek bun and the jewellery and stuff because I think it looks a little bit more dressy but maybe if I was wearing it um, with like no makeup and stuff on then I would pull it out and just wear it like a normal tracky and a little bit more casual. So that's definitely um, another tip trick for dressing up and down tracksuits you could definitely um tuck it in as well and wear it with like funky runners like balenciagas or something and um or any chunky runners and then you could also wear like a trench coat or a blazer or something when you have it worn a little bit more tidy and another thing that i want to talk to you about in relation to spring trends is uggs uggs are most definitely back which i'm so glad about because i actually never had like real uggs when they were like a trend years ago um, and it's definitely a trend that i am here for so i think it's like the ultra mini and the mini two are the ones that everyone are kind of wearing at the moment mine are the mini two and I got mine on All Soul. I actually have a code for All Soul as well. So I'll leave that below. I think it's Shauna underscore 15 or Shauna 15. They are just so good. And again, I'm actually getting my 60 wears out of these already. But I think the Ugg slippers are actually on my list as well. So another spring trend that's definitely going nowhere. Especially with like lockdown and stuff. Working from home. I feel like a tracksuit. Throw on a bit of makeup and your Uggs and you're good to go. And actually throwing on some jewellery as well. Is a really good way to just make yourself feel a little bit more done up. And that's actually now that I think of it. Something that I have been doing a lot recently. Even when I'm wearing like my sweatshirts and jumpers and stuff. Just put like layering up some jewellery. And literally putting on a bit of tinted moisturiser. You feel like you're like more done up even though it's literally only adding a bit of jewelry actually something that's not on my reel but i got from a boot shoe as well it's from a brand called american vintage and it's just like this off the shoulder neon green sweatshirt really nice quality and really nice bright color and i would wear this over like i would say here like a cami or a bralette these are definitely a spring trend that's going to stay for a long time 
and again a really easy way to look nice from the waist up so camis bralettes and um kind of like vests and stuff again with your layers jewelry and a jumper off the shoulder or else a cardigan and i have two cardigans here that i'm really excited to show you i just wanted to show this as well i think i actually am going to get this in the pink because i just loved the way it hung because it even though it has a nice wide neck on it it doesn't look super baggy or like it's falling off you you could wear it and um, back to front as well and have the seam to the front or else you can nearly pull it down lower at, lower at the front if you had like um, a lace cami on off the shoulder or lower on the back and again looks really cute with the layered jewellery then like I was saying even though we have all this really nice bright stuff that I cannot wait to talk about some days we need to be realistic and we have dark dreary days outside where you just can't go out wearing your bright colours you need some backup dark bits to keep out in spring and don't do what I did a few years ago and take out all of your spring or all of your summer clothes in March and then it's head snowing and you only have shorts and crop tops left out so definitely do have some um darker colours and tones that you can either add a bright colour to to wear on a sunnier day or else wear them like black leggings or grey tracksuit pants on days where you just want to look a little bit more dreary. Favourite brand for that sort of a look is definitely a Nina Bing. I have two here and um, so I have this one which is the motorcycle one. This is actually this year's one and it's a really unusual colour. It's not the exact same a base as some of her other ones it's like slightly lighter i think it's called light charcoal and then i have this white one as well and you know what i love about this especially now for working from home sometimes i find that the knitted cardigans and the knitted jumpers are a little bit too dressy to wear with tracksuit pants like i'd never wear i never really wear something like this with tracksuit pants i'd wear maybe leggings or jeans or something but if i wanted to look like definitely more casual effortless and still look kind of funky i go for sweatshirts and my favorite brands for sweatshirts are probably uh, monkey and other stories anita bing golden goose has some cool ones uh, h m have really funky ones zara all those kind of brands have really nice a gap this is a gap tracksuit um, and about you will have some really cool sweatshirts as well but just without the wool and i feel like you could definitely wear these in summer as well with a pair of shorts whereas with the knit you might be roasting and the cardigans actually can look quite cute over this too if you want to dress them up but i feel like you cannot go wrong with having a sweatshirt because some days maybe hair makeup and a cami and a cardigan just isn't on your to-do list it's more like a sweatshirt and leggings sort of a day so anina bing is definitely a brand that i have been loving and some of these are quite old actually um, and i just absolutely adore them then another purchase i think this was is this a black friday purchase it was a sale anyway because i got it on farfetch in the kids section and it's the stella mccartney uh, jacket i literally got this the adult one was about 600 euro i was like okay no i got this for like 100 euro in um size 14 or something and this is definitely a style and a vibe that's here for spring is metallic puffer jackets because puffer jackets have always been a trend no matter what season or month we're in because they're just so handy the rain runs off them they keep you warm they keep you dry and they still look funky um and i love them with like a skinny pants as well but i think when you're heading into summer having like a black or a white one looks a bit too ski vibes so a metallic bright color is definitely what i'm looking for at the moment bershka have loads of puffer jackets for really good great prices at the moment um, and I actually have a like to know a post on some of my favourite ones too with a huge price range so I will link that below and then underneath this is a Ghani stripe jumper that I actually haven't worn yet but I had to put in this video because I just cannot wait to wear it I always when I was looking at this this was on my wish list for so long I was like will I get it won't I get it will I get it won't I get it and I was like I don't want to be able to wear it with like white jeans or blue jeans or something and then on the model i saw her wearing it with like brown leather pants and then it just like opened my mind to thinking there's so many other ways to wear things than like what originally pops into your head and that brings me to my next tip which is pinterest boards before you buy anything no matter if it's a fiver a tenner 100 euro 2000 euro go on to pinterest or even google images and see how other people have styled it going on to instagram is another great um way to see 
how other people have styled it, if they have thoughts or reviews, YouTube is a good one for bags and shoes and stuff. Um, and just giving yourself a little bit of inspiration. You're like, yeah, I'd wear it that way, but not that way and see if it's worth your while to get it or not. And that doesn't matter how much it costs, it's just worth to see if it's worth your, you don't have to just do that if it's something expensive. I find that I do it all the time now, even if I'm just getting like a blue jumper from like Zara or H&M or something, I'm like, do I need that? How could I wear it? Just to make sure that there are those 15 ways to wear it or five ways to wear it and hopefully 30 times to wear it. So it's a really good way, especially if you are trying to be that little bit more sustainable and uh, kind of shop your own wardrobe. Having a Pinterest board is a really good idea and actually downloading an app like 30 Wears as well is a great way of tracking your own um, wares of your own clothes. That's a really cool app or else even just like taking pictures. I remember seeing that on someone's page before. Like you don't have to do your hair and makeup done or anything but literally just up in your bedroom with some pieces and make a folder on your a camera roll and just like wear something a few times a different like pieces over it under it pants shoes whatever and then when you're like what will I wear today you can look through your camera roll and be like I haven't worn it that way yet so another good tip for kind of shopping your own wardrobe you can get the most amazing product that I've ever bought this actually I should have had this stand I got it on Sea Green, which again is an Irish retailer and they stock this brand called Steamery and I got the steamer as well but it's literally a like fabric shaver so you just turn it on, it doesn't need to be plugged in or anything, I'm sure it's batteries or no actually you charge it like phone and you literally deball your clothes so it takes all of the balls and lint off it and it's a really really good thing to buy especially if you are trying to cut down on buying new things every year if you have something that you really love like this jacket now or like this jumper I did it on this because I bought this second hand I deballed it and it actually worked so well so definitely a tool that you could have in your wardrobe for being a little bit more sustainable but in regards to tracksuits and um, I'm still kind of learning which ones are like decent enough prices because some sometimes when it comes to tracksuits are actually more expensive than like jumpers and stuff this gap one wasn't too expensive quality is amazing haven't washed it yet but i'll let you know but one brand that i have um it's actually a cotton tracksuit which i love because i'm kind of gone off the woolly ones this is just really nice and lightweight and just makes you look so skinny as well which i love because i feel like sometimes tracksuit pants are way too wide on me and way too long on me i'm only five foot two so like even when pants are meant to be like short like these ones actually fit me perfectly which is ideal the gap ones but like sometimes like fat mud pants are ginormous on me so um I like having ones that are a little bit more tailored sometimes but other times I love my fat mud pants but this was definitely a brand that I got introduced to by Courtney Smith and I got the white one and the black one unfortunately I bought them when they weren't on sale and then they went into a huge sale on black friday so do keep an eye out but this is the brand zoe jordan and they are just so comfortable and they actually have some new ones in at the moment too but wash well fish well look amazing and kind of unusual as well and i love the pattern um on the leg and on the arm and they are just so soft and again not too expensive and now lastly before we get into accessories i want to talk second hand so my favorite places to shop second hand is depop Investier Collective and sometimes just through Instagram and here are some examples of some nice things that I got so first of all this green Ghani um sweatshirt or not sweatshirt knit even really beautiful color lovely fit kind of puffy sleeves and it's just it's really really wearing well and came with the tag on and everything and it's really nice and soft and I got it for a really good price on Vestiaire Collective. And Vestiaire Collective is a really good place for buying your luxury bits. I love Depop just for like having a scroll through and buying things that aren't like expensive or things that can't be fake. But uh, Vestiaire Collective is definitely where I would recommend you to shop if you're looking for any like designer labels or luxury pieces or things that have been counterfeited in the past because um, they have a authentic, authentic, authentication service as well and I think you can get it like insured when they send it to you so definitely good to know and I actually ended up getting this Olivia Rubin cardigan on Depop and I was like how am I finding an Olivia Rubin cardigan in my size on Depop like again for a really great price and the seller was amazing I actually bought an Ning 
a Nina Bing bag offer as well and I got like a two for or not two for one deal like a bundle discount I actually have my own depop too that I will link below and I always do like free shipping and bundle discounts when you buy like over two things so do have a look at that and I'll be adding some new things to it soon yeah these are definitely two of my favorites and they actually look really nice together again look this video is like making me think of all of these like options that I haven't thought about before like I never would have thought of putting this on top of that so see it just takes you to actually see things and that's what I'm saying about like Pinterest and Instagram and stuff once you see things together it'll make you realize if it's for you or not and how many times you can rewear it and it'll also give you an idea of if you have anything similar in your own wardrobe and then this is another gorgeous piece that I got from um, Styled by Isabel I'm also a woman entrepreneur which I love she does color consult color consultations so she'll um give you a quiz and then you fill it out and she'll help you find like clothes and colors that are a good kind of vibe for you a good fit for you and uh, these pieces aren't second hand but i just thought they were cool and again i never would have thought of putting this jumper underneath but this is just an example of how you don't have to spend a huge amount of money on things either you can like i said a bit of research and looking into other reviews and stuff i got this blue jumper from zara nearly a year ago now and i wear it like at least once a week and again not gone ball i haven't even had to use my ball depauler on this and it's just a really nice fit and it's one of these things that even though it's not like a neutral color it's like a basic block color and can be worn in so many different ways you could wear it as your sta statement color but then again because it doesn't have like prints on it it could also be worn as like your neutral so like it's acting as a neutral here underneath this like patchy uh, cardigan again this is from about you daddy and it's the brand essential antwerp but you could also wear it as like your statement with like some necklaces over it and a pair of white jeans that's how i actually wore it last week so that's what i love about getting things like that when it can be worn as your statement or your like simple sim simpler statement i like that i hope that you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful and um, i hope it'll give you some inspiration to kind of look through your own wardrobe as well and see what you actually have and how you can rewear it and revamp it and i hope that this has given you some inspiration too of not only shopping your own wardrobe but shopping local where you can and buying better quality things that are more ethically made and ethically sourced and just like as much local as you can because that's just so important at the moment and just to remind you as well before i go about the 15 percent off on the anna luisa stuff guys you'll this is definitely one of my favorite jewelry brands if you ever see me even on an everyday basis i'm wearing at least one piece of their things the quality is just incredible they don't rust they don't make your ring your fingers go green or your ears go red they don't rust they look much more expensive than they are and like i said it is a affordable luxury brand which i'm here for because i love the look of luxury but i hate the price of it so definitely a brand that i know that you guys will love i hope you found this video enjoyable and helpful let me know if you have any other kind of tips or pieces that are on your spring transitional wardrobe at the moment um comment below let me know um, and i look forward to seeing you in the next video Bye guys.